apologize and informative, but this rally is not the point of today. The point of today is for you to take this information and this energy and your own expertise and experience and walk it over there to the, ho to the House uh, offices and to the Senate offices and to meet one-on-one -on -one with your legislators. Um, the point of today is to have constructive one-on-one -on -one conversations where you're sharing your story. And so we just have a few quick lobbying tips to help you along the way. Uh, first, just so you know, there are lobbying tips that are printed up and they're over there on the uh, Michigan Women's Power Assembly table, uh, which is next to the Planned Parenthood table. And also, uh, the ACLU has citizen's guides so that you can take one of those and you know where to find your legislator. Um, as I said, the House office building is right over here in the Anderson building. The Senate office building is the Far uh, Farnham <laughs> office building over here on Allegan. You're going to need your photo ID to get in, so make sure you have that ready. It's best if you have an appointment already, but you can still go if you do not have a, an appointment scheduled. Uh, just go in and ask when your legislator would be available today. If they're not available, ask to speak with a staff member. Um, if you need talking points on your issues, uh, visit the tables over here. Everybody's got lots of information about the various things that have been talked about today, so you can take talking points there with you. Uh, but the most important thing is to have a constructive conversation. So you want a one-on-one -on -one conversation where you are actively listening to what your legislator says, you're taking notes on what your legislator says, and most importantly, you're telling your story. So whatever the issue is that you're concerned about, you want to make sure that you're sharing how that policy is going to impact you personally, how it's going to impact your family, and how it's going to impact your community. And the other important thing to remember is to have an ask. You don't want to leave your legislator's office without asking them for something. They serve you. So you're asking them to vote a certain way, you're asking them to introduce legislation, you're asking them to hold a hearing, whatever it is, make sure you have that ask. And then finally, you want to thank them for, the, for their time. And uh, when you get back home, you definitely want to send a thank you note to them, thanking them for their time, reiterating any of those points, uh, priority points that you have, and sharing any information that you promised to them. Uh, Lastly, there's plenty of other ways for you to raise your voice beyond, we definitely want you to go over there and have your meetings, uh, but beyond that, we've listed on our lobbying tip sheet plenty of other ways that you can keep the conversation going through phone calls, through emails, through letters to the editor and social media, so explore all those different ways to keep in contact with your legislators and also share that information with your friends and family back home so that we can keep these conversations going. And then finally, um, those of you who know me and know what I do for a living know that I would be remiss if I did not talk about running for office. The only way that we are going to make change, the only way that we are really going to take over the Capitol is if we literally take over this Capitol. That's right. So we need, we need more women elected to office to sit inside this building. That's right. We need women elected to have the power to craft the legislation, to shape the debate, and to cast those votes that represent our interests. That's the only way that women will have a true voice in the Capitol. And when I talk about electing women, I'm talking about you. I'm not talking, I mean, there are plenty of candidates here. If you're a candidate, raise your hand. We've got a few candidates in the audience and they need your money and your votes. Uh, but I'm talking to each of you. If I could look each one of you in the eye, I would say that I'm standing here right now, officially inviting you to run for elected office. In fact, I'm begging you yes. <laughs> to run for elected office. Yes. Uh, there is no reason that each one of us cannot overcome our fears, our misgivings, overcome all the excuses that we have to run for an elected office and sit, take your seat at the table. I don't care if you're running for the legislature, for school board, for county commission, for president of the United States. Run for something, please. That's right. Because this democracy belongs to all of us. That's right. Including you. That's right. So now, we have some other speakers, but now I want you to get ready to go lobby. I want you to fix your hair, check your makeup, strap your girls in, and go take over the Capitol.